name is Connie Mangelin and I'm the curator of the Mitten Movie Project and I've been doing this since 2007. Well, the Mitten Movie Project is designed to showcase independent short films and trailers. And when I say independent, I mean things that don't have studio distribution or studio financing. So really the nitty gritty labor of love stuff that you know you and your friends go out and do every weekend and do it for the love of it. The Mitten Movie Project is a monthly film festival, so that's a little different. Not many, many monthlies around. And every month shows uh, displays like 12 to 16 shorts and trailers. And uh, a typical night would start at 6.30 at the Main Art Theater in Royal Oak. So between 6.30 and 7.30 there's a pre-screening reception where the filmmakers can come early and chat with the film goers and maybe any press that I have come early and just chat, chat with each other. They haven't seen their cast and crew in probably months and weeks since they've wrapped. So this is a good way for them to catch up with their other people and their friends. 7.30 to 9.30 is the screening itself. So I usually book about an hour and a half of content. So 12 to 16 shorts make up an hour and a half of content and I don't want people to sit in the seats any longer than they usually would for a movie. So I keep it to that length and then right after the screening, so I have the shorts back to back to back to back to back all on one DVD. And in the screening, or after the screening itself, there's a Q&A and I invite one or two people from each production to come forward and field questions from the audience. And you know, during the screening, I encourage the audience to think, of, think up of, of, of questions because if they have a question, that means someone else in the audience will have that same exact question and will have thought that same exact thing. So I encourage people to not be bashful with their questions at the Mitten Movie Project. And then during the Q&A, I have every production answer a question. So I actually gear and steer the questions to that so everyone gets a chance to practice their Q&A skills at the Mitten. So, and then after the Q&A, there is the after party at Mr. B's. And that's where I, I announce the Audience Choice Award winner for the whole night. And that's tallied from the, uh, the program notes from the screening and everyone circles their favorite short. And then that adds up to the Audience Choice Award winner. Every month has its own Audience Choice Award winner for uh, the year. So there'll be 11 of them, January through November. And then in December, the first December, or first Tuesday in December, I bring all 11 of those back and I screen them against each other and they all compete for the short of the year award which is really neat because one short will take it for the whole year and will have like beaten out like at least 150 shorts that make it onto the screen. The submission process for the Mitten Movie Project is a little different than other film festivals. For one, it's free. I don't charge filmmakers to charge to, to screen at the Mitten, which is not very common. And two, uh, there's a steady stream of submissions all year round, so I don't really have a hard deadline because it's a monthly. And I just tell filmmakers, just get it to me at least two weeks before the screening date. One of the neat things about the Mitten Movie Project is I correspond and I email with each and every filmmaker and I have a personal correspondence with them. I'm not only a director, but I'm a filmmaker as well. So I make it, I'm out there, and I, I'm in the nitty gritty of it too. So I know what it takes to get something on the screen and make it look good. So in 2008, Michigan enacted its, its film incentive law, and uh, it basically opened the floodgates for Hollywood and for studio productions to come into town and make use of our awesome locations, our awesome crew base, and um, just have a great time here. And they did. And they loved it here. And that has, I have seen an increase in maybe the quality of submissions from Mitten filmmakers. Let me just say that movie making in Michigan I think is very, very strong. And I'd like to think that the Mitten Movie Project is one reason for that. Because I do take filmmakers and I and I communicate with them on how to grow and how to get better. Even though I'll accept something, I'll still talk to them afterwards and say, hey, did you notice this? this and maybe this could be changed next time for your next short. 
So I see filmmakers grow and be even stronger filmmakers, and it really makes me happy to see that. That's one of the intentions of the Mitten Movie Project, is to help filmmakers grow. And I think that we're a big, we're a powerhouse in the movie making world. I know that when people from LA and New York see that someone is from Michigan, they're like, oh, that person's good. That person's gonna get it done. It's the Midwestern work ethic. And couple that with the creativity and the awesome just creative spark that's in Detroit or Michigan, boom, we're gonna take over the world. I'm gonna stop that. I just gave you the best little sound bite. <laughs>